The truth, you've got time to get fit. You just don't want to be uncomfortable. And guess what? That comfort's killing you. At the end of the day, let's be real, you're not too busy to get in shape. That's just a lie you tell yourself. You know, the truth is you got time to get fit. You just don't want to be uncomfortable. I get it. The couch is easier. Eating what tastes really good is much easier in the moment. It tastes great in the moment. It makes you feel good. But you know what? Again, here's the wake-up call. These easy things are what's killing you. This comfort is what's, is what's killing you. Every day you stay in this comfort zone is another day you're being unfulfilled. It's another day where you're not moving in a direction where you really want to be. The truth is you can trade some discomfort now for a whole lot more discomfort later on. You're in your 50s. You're not dead, but you're comfortable. The comfort is killing you. Yes, it's easier to come home from work and just flop on the couch. Yes, it's easier to sit there and scroll through Facebook and just go down that rabbit hole. Yes, it's easier just to watch a couple more episodes of Netflix, right? Oh, I get it all the time. Oh, I got to go to my kid's hockey game. Absolutely you do. I remember my kid's hockey game. I remember going and I remember watching the parents sitting in the stands, face buried in their phones. Yeah, a few paid more attention to their kids because they were really into it, but most of them just buried their face into their phones. Why not walk around the arena a little bit? Why not do some activity? At the end of the day, we sit there and we piss and moan that we don't like how we feel. We piss and moan that we don't like how we look, right? Then we say shit like I'm too old. And really what it is, is you've gotten way too comfortable. You've gotten way too soft. At the end of the day, we did this to ourselves. Again, there's nothing more fulfilling than finishing a workout and feeling the grind. There's nothing feeling that you got uncomfortable for a purpose. And uncomfortable for a purpose is gonna be a phenomenal thing for you. Comfortable, just for the sake of being comfortable, for the sake of not wanting to feel a little bit of pain, a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of breathing, a little bit of sweating. Yeah, you gotta get off your ass. Yeah, you gotta break some routines, right? But this comfort, is what's killing you and making you softer and softer and bringing you down and spiraling you down to a point where finally your body's just going to give out. You're going to have all kinds of medical issues. You're going to have all kinds of psychological issues that happen and stuff, depression, right? Not happy, unfulfilled. Guess what? You're going to do even more shit to make yourself feel better immediately to avoid even more discomfort. You're going to eat more. You're going to drink more. You're going to watch more TV. And all you're going to do is gain more weight, get weaker, be more broken, be more sad, catch yourself in the mirror once in a while and see just how fucking terrible you look and feel. That is fucking discomfort. That's the real discomfort. That's the discomfort we want to avoid, right? We need to step into this. We need to take action. We need to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And you know what? Yes, it's going to be a little weird at first. It's going to be a little uncomfortable at first. So be it. But every workout's a win. Every time you stick to your food plan, it's a win. Every time you revert away from an old bad habit and take on a good habit, it's a win, right? And all of a sudden you're gonna start doing something really cool. You're gonna start seeking the discomfort. You're gonna start looking for the positive discomfort because you're gonna start to see and feel that that discomfort of a workout, of following a food plan, of not going out with the boys, right? Of not having a glass of wine or two with every meal, why? because you're used to it. It's comfortable. Absolutely. It makes us feel better. It numbs the pain. It makes us feel happy for a little bit, right? Because we want to be comfortable. Our brains are wired to make us comfortable. I get it. That's a survival skill that our bodies developed over millennia so we would survive. But in this day and age, that comfort is destroying us. It's destroying you. I want you to get comfortable being uncomfortable. I want you to step into this. I want you to take action because every one of us that did it and is on the other side of it, that's lost 40, 50, 60 pounds, 100 pounds, that's living life to the fullest in our 40s, 50s, and 60s, will be the first to tell you they had to get uncomfortable. But that real decision to get uncomfortable with purpose changed everything. I know you guys can do this. I did it. So many of my clients have done it, right? Step the fuck up, take action, and just understand that you're going to get a little uncomfortable at first, but you're going to be a whole fuck of a ton better later on. Now let's go fuck shit up.